Good morning, everybody. I can see both my clocks now, even though one of them is... One of them is behind. So I don't know if it's 6.35 or... Oh yeah, that one says 7.20. So I think that one on the wall, the battery's starting to go, but it is Labor Day morning. Um, August 5th or 6th, I can't remember. I think it's 6th. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm like, I, my, I have not reset my calendar in a long time because it's kind of blocked by a lot of stuff because of the things I've been doing. If you can't tell, I got the mattress out. I have before and after shots um, from yesterday. I, I have, um, yeah, sorry, my mind's a little, um, cluttered right now. I'm going to apologize to everybody for Saturday's live chat, which kind of went awry. Um, no, I'm going to be honest with you. It went, it went down the toilet. It went down the toilet for three different reasons. One, a a lot of the comments um, were not exactly pleasant, especially when it came to um, Jerry being my monitor and whatnot. Oh yeah, the arms, it looks like I gotta tighten up the arms. Um, and it caused a lot of confusion. It caused a lot of anger in Jerry's on Jerry's um, side. Um, I'm going to change out glasses because these look crooked in the camera. But <clears throat> I'm going to apologize mostly towards uh, those who were not. Um... How do I put this? Not towards those who weren't, but I, I apologize to those who are trying to be um, calm, cool, collective, and um, pleasant to deal with. I don't remember names, but there's one or two people on, that have been making comments for the last week or two that one of them I've already kind of blocked because she was just being downright. One, a lot of her comments were like hard to understand or decipher because it was like, who are you defending or what are you arguing about? And then there was one other person who, um, according to one of my viewers and Jerry's friend, um, was taking a shining to me. And I was just like, I'm not picking up on anything like that. Um, maybe because of the fact that I'm not one of those people who play games um, if I want to say something, I'm going to, I'm going to say it. And I'm, a lot of times I am blunt as a hammer. Um, because I have, I don't know any other way. I really don't. But between Saturday's live and Sunday's aftermath, um, I did put out a, a message Sunday, a video Sunday morning or Sunday evening. I can't remember when, um, I'm not. I, I'm done. There's going to be no more deep conversations or complaining um, about Jerry. The conversations about work will be off the table. Um, I need to deal with my private life off camera. Um, me and Jerry are trying to commu communicate more. Um, and I just... I don't think I should be doing, I should, I don't think I should be talking about our, our life, our, our, our issues and whatnot on camera because, um, between people who think I'm trying to throw Jerry under the bus, which I'm not, I don't, I don't try to do that. And just those who are like, um, trying to tell me, like literally trying to put a wedge between me and Jerry by telling me things like, oh, you shouldn't have to deal with it. You should take her to a nursing home or a care facility or just kick her to the curb. Stuff like, no. 
No. I'm following my heart from now on. Um, and I tell you what, my heart has never strayed me very off course. Yeah, there are times where, you know, because of other external stimuli that I get confused and, you know, kind of not really stray off course, but end up, you know, in a ditch for a short period of time until I can pull myself out. Um, but anyhow, I was re I was flipping, I can't talk about that. I was fl flipping through my Bible and I came across this section in the Bible um, entitled Marriage. And it had four little sections about marriage. Three of them I'm not even going to read because, well, actually two of them I'm not going to read because they're kind of, um, well, I'll read you the title and you'll understand why I don't want to read them. The first one is, well, actually this one I, I won't mind. So only one of them, one of them I'm not going to get into detail, but I will read the title. And it is husbands and <clears throat> excuse me, husbands and wives belong to each other sexually. That's why I'm not going to read it because I don't want to read that kind of stuff on here. <clears throat> the other one is almost similar, so I'm also not going to read it. But it's entitled "Marriage Can Guard Against Sexual Temptation." If you are truly deeply con connected to your partner, uh, your partner. Both of those, both those two are very understandable. Um, the one that I looked at, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to really get in depth into it, um, is husbands and wives are spiritual partners. Yeah. Um, if, if both husband and wife are on the same um, page with religion, which for the most part we are. Um, the only difference between me and my wife when it comes to religion is she was born and raised Catholic. I was born and raised pretty much Pentecostal. Well, not Presbyterian. No. I'm going to have to say non-denominational because most of the churches I went to, even though they were entitled Church of Christ, we were primarily a non-denominational type church. Especially while in the military in Germany, um... It was just a bunch of a uh, bunch of GIs who um, was able to rent a barn from a local one of the locals and convert it into a church. Um, so, yeah, or not exactly a church, but a place of of worship. You now, but the one that I really that really connected to me was love your wife sacrificially. Basically, when I read it, and I'm not going to read it to you, is basically it was comparing Jesus and the church and how the church is the wife of Jesus. And what did he do for the, for the church? He sacrificed himself for all our sins. So not exactly the church in itself, but any everybody. He, he sacrificed himself for everybody's sins. So they have an open invitation to heaven. It is our actions and how we love each other that determines our ticket into heaven, so to speak. And the way it was put in the Bible, or in my Bible, anyhow, was we're supposed to be like Jesus, sacrificing ourselves for the sake of our wife. I believe that. I, that's the way I want to be. So yeah, I might complain and whatnot from time to time about having to deal with, you know, her needs and whatnot, but I should be doing that anyhow, even if she wasn't in the current condition she's in. Now, I know a lot of old school teaching says that the wife is supposed to take care of the husband and clean the house and do the cooking and yada, yada, yada. I personally think that that is old school teaching. I personally think it should be 50-50. I think if I'm out there working, you know, eight plus hours, five days out of the week, um, 
she should be taking care of the house and doing the cleaning and whatnot. Well, right now she can't. She wants to, but it's very difficult for her because putting pressure on her knee. I know a lot of people talked about getting one of those leg strollers or leg thingies that basically some people who have casts will get so they can put their cast on the, the scooter thingy and use their other leg to propel them forward. She can't do that because of whatever is wrong, whether it's a fracture or just the lack of cartilage in her knee. She would have to bear, she would have to put all her weight on that leg just to lift her foot up to put, to push herself forward. So that's not a go. She can't bend or sit upright for more than, well, last time I, I, last time I timed it, it was like almost 10 minutes, five and a half, uh, somewhere between five and eight minutes, put it that way. She's trying. That's, hey, to me, that's a whole lot better than just laying there. And I'm the one who, because of the information that the doctor gave me, I'm the one who suggested, to, uh, you know, I didn't suggest total bed rest. I want her to, to um, do whatever she needed to do to be comfortable. And if that meant being in bed, lying on her side or whatnot, so be it. You know, yeah, I'm the one who basically took all the doctor's information and went, well, no walking, no dancing, no pressure on the knee, no no long distance walking or running or whatnot. Nothing that's gonna cause any more pressure or bone on bone grinding or whatever is going on in her leg. And I was like, hey, hun, well, by the doctor's information, you might as well just spend most of your time in bed unless you absolutely have to get out of bed for anything. Now, we were talking the other day about um, trying to um, put one of the extra commodes over the toilet to give it a riser so it's easier for her to get up and down because of how low the toilet is. And she goes, I don't know if I can make it in, into the toilet and on one of those seat on one of the other commodes because they're too narrow, narrow for her. They're not wide enough. And I went, well, why don't we take the one that's next to the bed, put it on, in the bathroom, and then put one of the smaller ones next to the bed for emergencies or or days that you don't feel like you can. And she was like, no, I still don't want to do that because it's just, it will hurt my hips. Okay, that's fine. I'm trying to get give her ideas. I'm trying to get her to be more mobile. She was telling me that um, maybe after the MRI or maybe after, if they give her a cast, basically, if they put a ca an air cast around her leg to keep it from bending and whatnot. So whatever is wrong, if it is a fracture in the humor, whether it's a fracture in the humor, not humorous, femur, keep on wanting to say humorous. Um, I don't even know if that's a bone. Uh, but, um, or maybe that's, that's the, the elbow area cause it's the, the funny bone. So why not call it humorous? But, um, she was talking about if, if they put her in an air cast after Friday, what she's thinking about trying to do because it will keep her legs straight and hopefully keep her from putting too much pressure on it. Um, she was thinking about moving the the commode into the bathroom like we were suggesting and moving the little um, tables that have our air purifier and 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 um, cold air mister or cool air mister um, closer to the other closer to the nightstand where the the commode is so that she can just slide to the end of the bed grab her um, walker or whatever and go into the bathroom. See, there's a lot, of, I mean, she can, <sighs> on a good day, she can get up, use a walker to move out to like the van when we have to take her to an appointment or whatnot. But 
the discomfort of just sitting in her recliner in a living room is too great of a chance to cause problems. So she would rather not cause problems until we know exactly what's going on, which, you know, hey, that's fine. I, I agree. I would rather not cause more problems, which could be even more wor could be worse than what it already is. But like a lot of you who suggested um, trying to do more than just laying in bed and doing her in bed stretches and, and, and PT is what I'm going to call it. Um, I understand what you guys are saying, but you have to understand that the, the amount of pain that it causes her just to sit at the edge of the bed for more than five, eight minutes, five to eight minutes, um, just is not great. Is not a good thing. It's like, Saturday, we had, um, her, well, she and I basically tried to do some of the, some of the things that we used to do with her leg, um, stretching it up into the air and giving it gentle, you know, gentle pulls, which was relieving some of the pain uh, at first, but uh, might have also been doing more damage than good. And then Sunday morning, she woke up and she was hurting from the exercise and I was like okay well we now know that just doing something like that a little too strenuous is not the greatest of ideas so you know we're just trying to do what we can without you know causing more problems and that's fine Ooh, what time is it? It's almost eight. Don't look at that clock. Yeah, it's almost eight. Okay. One of the things I planned on doing today was trying to take, um, well, besides cleaning up my, my, my refrigerator or whatnot, but I was going to try to make some, um, pre-prepped quick and easy reheat meals for the week so Jerry can have, um, better breakfast or bre better lunches. All she has to do is, or all mom has to do is throw it in a microwave and heat it for a few, for a minute or two and give it to Jerry. Mom has been very helpful with the situation uh, while I'm gone. She'll go in and check on Jerry, get Jerry more water if she needs it, um, bring in um, uh, um, ingredients to make her own lunches, um, whether it's like, what was it, um, Friday. Jerry wanted um, a sandwich and asked mom, because mom asked, mom basically asked her, is there anything she can do for her? And Jerry said, can you bring me, can you either bring me or make me um, a wrap? And mom brought her in the items that she wanted for the wrap. And Jerry made her own wrap and mom took the extra ingredients that were left and put them back in the refrigerator. Um, which, you know, I'm thankful for because at least I know Jerry's getting lunch instead of me coming home and she's hungry and wants something right away. Um, which is kind of like, all right, can I, you know, at least get changed and then I'll go make your sandwich or whatever. So I'm thinking today I am going to take some Italian sausage that I found in the freezer and, um, defrost those and cook those up so Jerry can... All mom has to do is reheat one of the sausages and maybe throw um, a forkful or a spoonful of sauerkraut or whatever next to it. Oh, I also got to pull out the hamburger and hot dog buns because that's what we're doing for dinner today. It's Labor Day. So I was going to make something simple like um, I have a George Foreman so I can grill up some burgers i can boil some hot dogs except for mom mom doesn't like boiled hot dogs so i'll fry up a pair of hot dogs for mom probably throw them on the george foreman and let the george foreman cook them um i was going to do it outside but i don't know how warm it's going to be let alone humid 
I can handle warmth without humidity to a certain degree. I can handle cool with low to no humidity with very little problems. It's when it's hot and humid at the same time, it's like, ugh, did I just walk out into a sauna? But, anyhow, um, no, I like I said earlier, I'm following my heart. I'm doing what I think is best for everybody in this house. I still appreciate everybody's comments and suggestions. Um, I've only had to, since Saturday, I've only had to get rid of one person because that person was becoming obnoxious. Not only in comments to other people, but in comments in general. And I was kind of like, um, no, uh, no, no. The one thing I want to do before I start getting into the other stuff I wanted to talk about and try to make this video shorter than 50 minutes. Um, I do want to make an apology to a group of people. I call them out. And I, I realized that my, my statement about them was a blanket statement. The Gossip Bakery group. There are three people on there that I will thank and apologize to because out of the whole group, the three of them, no matter how slow I was going with my, my cleaning projects or no matter what hardships I was having, they tr tried to, to support me with their words. They weren't trying to be forceful on driving a wedge or they weren't even trying to drive a wedge. And those three people from the gossip group is Northern Girl, Julie S, and let me see if I can get this right. Y-T-P-T-S-T. -T -T. Um, they really try to help. I think there's one other one. I just can't remember that person's name off the top of my head. But the rest of them... Well, they wanted to give me information, but some of that information was just a little um, hardcore. Now, I'm not saying it wasn't wrong, and I'm not saying it was right. But when I wasn't doing it fast enough for them, they started getting nasty, negative, or just downright, you know. But I'm not going to be going back to, to the bakery group the Gossip Baker group, um, because I, I, even though those three, three to four people were very, very nice to me and trying to help to the best of their ability, um, and giving their opinion and their advice, and not all of it was bad, um, I just, I just think I need to, um, Focus on what my heart is telling me to do, focus on. Um, I invite those people to, if for some reason I had um, blocked them in the past, I invite those three three people to come back to my channel under a new name. Um, like I said, most of their advice, probably about 95% of their advice was um, viable. Uh, I just don't need the other people in that on that in that group to be um, negative influencing. Um, I consider I you know especially when the fact of that at first they were starting to be understanding and trying to give um, legitimate influence, but then when I didn't take it right away and do it ex exactly the way they want they expressed it, um, they turned. They turn like a rabid dog and um, I don't need that. Um, I need, I do need support, a support group of one form or another. <clears throat> I do need a lot of help. I'm trying to get it. Um, as a lot of people have said that um, communication between me and Jerry need to be 
open back up. I'm doing that. Um, I'm slowly doing this room, as you can tell. Maybe you can't, I don't know. But the biggest, um, the biggest obstacle is not in the room no more. So I can start getting to the little stuff. You know, there's still a few things in here that are an obstacle that I need to deal with. Um, you know, stuff over here in this corner. The tops of everything, stuff in this corner over here. Um, it, yeah, it's a slow go. It's a combination of, I have two days off. I need at least, well, this week I have three days off. I need at least one day or a good chunk of one day to recoup my energy and, and sleep and all that stuff. Um, I usually try to do that on Saturday. Actually, I was doing it on Sunday, but this week it kind of like a little bit on Saturday, a little bit on Sunday. Today, I'm kind of like, do I really want to do anything or do I want to just sit back the whole day and read or goof off? I don't know. Parts of me saying, yeah, let's do that. And other parts of me going, no. I can't even use my tabletop right now because it's got all kinds of stuff on it that I need to deal with. So it's kind of like, do I deal with my desktop so I can use my desk? Or do I deal with the all the stuff that's all over the place? I don't know. I got to sit down and focus on it. But I do know I'm trying to deal with it. Um, the 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 box spring itself was a pain in the butt to deal with. I wanted to deal with that first and foremost because it would be the hardest to um, get into tight spaces. Well, it did not go into the utility room because it was too wide. Um, I couldn't get it in all the way, let alone twist and turn it the way I wanted to. So I had to pull it out, measure it, and went, oh, yeah, it's too wide. Let's just stick it in the shed, which Jerry was not happy about because she didn't want it in the shed. She wanted it in the utility room because it would be more secure from bugs and whatnot. And I just kind of went, no. I can look around, or look around the utility room and see um, carcasses of bugs that got into the room somehow. Um, so what she decided to do is try to call around to some of her local friends to see if, um, anybody n wanted or knew of anybody who needed or wanted a queen size box spring and mattress. So I'm kind of like, okay, that means if I can't get it into the utility, if I can't get the mattress or the box spring in the utility room, it's going to be a royal pain in the butt to get the mattress in there because even though the mattress is a little bit more flexible, um, it's still going to be as wide as the um, box frame. So, yeah, the guest room is probably not going to get touched for at least another week or two. Which is fine because, I mean... I don't know what's been waking me up lately. It's not Jerry. Because uh, when I wake up, she is sound asleep and she's not snoring. She's just laying there. Um, what really actually woke me up this morning was my bladder. Oh, old age. Yeah, old age. Yeah, I'm not that old. But aging, getting older, you know, you tend to have more needs when it comes to bladder control or emptying um so other than that i don't know what woke me up this morning and for some reason after i wake up i either end up tossing and turning the rest of the morning until my alarm goes off getting cat naps getting cat naps between whatever time I wake up to the time my alarm goes off. But it's not stopping me from functioning the way I need to function. Yeah, sometimes it makes it a little bit difficult first thing in the morning to think or concentrate. Um, that's why I'm semi-thankful that a lot of the stuff that I do at work 
has become just routine. You know, go in, punch the clock, take whatever I need to take out to the venue to start the process, and then go back into the main kitchen area and start chopping, dicing, slicing, you know, prepping, cooking, all that fun stuff. Now, being that we had a, a, a three-day weekend, Friday, everything that could spoil, like all the produce, um, and whatever rice and meat was left over, had to be dumped. Which I kind of went, oh man, I wish I could like box it up in something and take it to our local soup kitchen or whatnot and go, this is fresh from today, use it as quickly as possible. Um, some of it I'd like to be able to take home, but I'm pretty sure that's a big no-no. Um, but that means Tuesday we have to literally do everything fresh. No problem with no problem for me because I'm pretty you know now that I know the basic routines and the equipment I'm supposed to use and all that fun stuff it's you know decor the tomatoes and all that fun stuff and we've got well I'm not going to talk about my job anymore I I, I don't want to accidentally give away too much information but I. You guys have seen me the last two weeks when I come home from work and do a, a video. I'm pretty happy and, and whatnot. It's just the last two days have kind of pushed me backwards a little bit. Does that going to stop me from trying to be happy or, or fulfilling my goals or anything like that? No. Not at all. Just means I have a little more effort to put into to get back to where I was. And I'm pretty sure... Come Monday afternoon after, or not Monday afternoon, today's Monday, Jim. Tuesday afternoon after working, I will probably be very hunky dory and happy and, and back to my normal self or back to the self that I want to be, the, the happy go lucky, you know, cheerful type person. It's just this weekend was a setback. Speaking about cheerful things, besides the progress I've made in this room alone, um, Jay and I talked last night, and the discussion was actually quite intriguing. She asked me if, if my dreams or desires for an RV are still there, and I was like, yeah. Make it easier for us to stay in different locations if we go to visit, you know, Yellowstone or the Grand Canyon or the Grand Tetons or any of the different parks and whatnot, national parks and whatnot that we want to go see, let alone visiting friends or family members across this nation. Um, there's only, there, the discussion was, are we going to look for a class B, class C, or a trailer? Um, like the teardrop trailers that we've been looking at that seem to be the easiest ones to probably tow behind I don't know if we'll be able to do it with our minivan because maximum tow capacity is only of like 3,500 or less. I can't remember because I didn't look at the, uh, I haven't looked at the uh, um, information in the car. But I was like, yeah, I still want to get an RV or a trailer or something like that. So we have a place to stay or something to, to, to spend the night in while visiting friends and family. So we had talked about that and her suggestion, which was quite, quite interesting, was to take a weekend, use mom's car, because mom's car probably has a better towing capacity out of the two vehicles, but I don't know, is to rent for the weekend um, one of the small RV trailers and hook it up to whatever vehicle, whether it be the van or the um, mom's uh, mini SUV and take it for a drive, like literally drive it from the RV place to home via either the highway or the back roads. I, I was like, mm, yeah, that sounds like a great idea so I can get used to something being behind me. But um, at the same time, I'm a bit nervous. But 
as I have discovered that even though I'm a bit nervous and will probably take it very easily, um, I was nervous about driving from, let alone to, um, her eye doctor up in, um, Columbia, which is a good hour and a half north of us on a state highway, not a major highway like I-44. It was a state highway, a two lane, sometimes four lane highway. And I was nervous about that. And I drove at a comfortable speed, no matter who was behind me. Um, even though the big rigs kind of un unnerved me, but I made it, I was able to do it. Once I got familiar with the route and whatnot, it was no biggie. Drive how I, however I wanted to at whatever speed that was comfortable for me. Um, you know, I'm pretty sure it would be the same way. Yes, I'm, I, I'll be nervous. But once I get used to driving with a trailer or driving up RV, you know, just take the precautions and, and take it easy and do what I have to do to make it from point A to point B without getting into any troubles, car, uh, car troubles or accidents or whatnot, you know, so yeah, I'm, I'm still looking for the, the option of being able to own an RV and move about the country freely without having to put in extra money for a hotel. I mean, with an RV, yeah, there's charging up, the, excuse me, there's charging up the battery so we, and we know we have enough battery for a good while, making sure the, um, water tanks are full, things like that. I know some of the new modern day RVs have um, solar panel options, whether they're on the roof or they're portable. Um, I know a lot of the class Bs, which are um, basically like um, cargo vans turned into a little RV. I don't know how comfortable they'll be because of the size of the bed and whatnot, but they, a lot of those come with panels on top of the roof for for what they call dry docking. You're not hooked up to anything. You're just parked wherever you want to park. You know, Jerry's big hope is once she gets the MRI done and they figure out what needs to be done, she gets the surgeries and whatnot done, she'll be like a new person and just have to learn, you know, learn how to ambulate with the new joints. That'd be great. Um, she's, she wants to, to start back on her, um, on the diet we were on so she can hopefully because of the foods are healthy and whatnot, she'll be able to lose more weight. Hey, the only, the only problem I have right now, and I, I, I think I need to sit down next weekend and learn how to do it is use a crock pot so when I come home, I don't have to worry about cooking. I just have to make sure the food is done and served. You know, we have the Instapot. It takes half the time to cook most of the foods that uh, we want to eat anyhow. I need to learn how to do those. Um, you know, there's a lot of things I need to learn how to do so I, we don't have issues like, oh, I'm tired. I don't know what I want to cook for dinner. I don't have anything out for dinner and end up calling, you know, for takeout, which is not the healthiest food on the face of the planet. Let's, let's be honest. Unless, uh, we're, unless we're eating salad and we're calling out for salads, um, Pizza, burgers, even Chinese food. It's not the healthiest thing on the face of the planet. But if I don't feel like cooking because I'm too tired, too worn out, who's going to do the cooking? You know, I love mom to death and she knows she can cook a few things, but not in mass. I mean, she's good cooking for herself, but not for three people. Um, and I would not put that burden on mom. 
you know, she's got enough, she's got enough on her plate as is with, um, just trying to keep the, you know, the dishes clean and during the, the day while I'm at work, making sure Jerry's okay and has enough water or <clears throat> gets lunch if Jerry wants lunch. So I can't, I can't like fault her for anything. Mom's doing her best. But anyhow, um, this video is already over, uh, yeah, 40 minutes and counting. I'm going to go ahead and do my farewell, my goodbye, however you want to put it. <coughs> so, mm, sorry. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and put them in the question comment box. If you're new to my channel and want to hear more, um, you can um, hit that subscribe button and then a little bell will pop up and YouTube will let you know when I put in my next video. And until next time, you guys have a good day. Bye.